Hello everyone, it's me, Mitch. We are here with one of the most requested lists for anime fans, featuring the best anime-based video games for all major platforms. Does not matter which platform you own, we have plenty of stunning game titles based on popular anime series. Let's not waste any more time and jump to the first one. First up, Jump Force, a crossover fighting game featuring characters from various manga series featured in Shuisha's Weekly Shonen Jump anthology in celebration of the magazine's 50th anniversary. The matches are 1v1, where the player controls a team of three characters from a selection of various manga series. The game features 57 playable characters from 16 series. Players control one character at a time, while the others are used as support, with players able to switch between them during battle. Combat functions similar to the previous jump fighting game, such as Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm, with players moving around a 3D space and utilizing various combos and special moves to attack their opponents. The match ends when one team depletes the other's health bar. Overall, this is the very best of anime fighting games covering many of the most popular anime franchises. Coming in next, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. This is a 2.5D fighting game based on the Dragon Ball anime franchise. The game involves the player picking a team of three playable characters and a unique assist for each, then fighting an AI or human opponent with their own team of three characters. Players can each select three characters to form a team, from an initial roster of characters from the Dragon Ball franchise. One character is controlled and can be switched with one of the other characters at any time. Players can also call one of their other characters to perform an assist move allowing simultaneous attacks and combos with the entire team. All three characters on the same team must be defeated in order for a player to win the game. If neither team has been defeated before the time runs out, the team that has sustained the least damage overall wins. Up next, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Another 2.5D fighting game based on the Naruto Shippuden anime series. The game follows the story of young ninjas Naruto Uzumaki and Sasuke Uchiha as they participate in a world war between shinobi, the fourth shinobi world war, against the terrorist organization known as the Akatsuki, and unite to defeat it. The game uses regular fighting systems, however, players can switch among a team of three fighters who can assist each other. Other returning elements involve boss fights, where quick time events are required to reach hidden scenes and hack and slash areas. The game has the largest number of fighters. Its roster includes 106 fighters from the Naruto universe, including duplicates of the same characters. There is also an additional DLC called Road to Boruto that focuses on the hidden leaf village with side quests being available besides completing its main narrative. Next, One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. This one is an action-adventure video game based on the One Piece anime franchise. The story takes an unfinished Wano arc and modifies the plot, with Cavendish and Bartholomew appearing in the arc to help the captured Straw Hat crew escape their cells. As the battle intensifies between Big Mom and Kaido, a new enemy appears in the form of Blackbeard and his crew. Fighting Blackbeard, Big Mom, and Kaido's crew, players are met with a final battle against Kaido. Players must defeat Kaido at the end and end the suffering of Wano that Kaido brings. The game features the largest collection of playable characters. The combat is even more hectic, in a good way though. The inclusion of original characters and brand new scenarios is pretty cool, and the wider range of special moves at your disposal allows for even more combo potential. Up next, Persona 5 Royal. It's a role-playing video game, which is part of the Megami Tensei anime franchise. Persona 5 takes place in modern-day Tokyo and follows a high school student known by the pseudonym Joker, who transfers to a new school after being falsely accused of assault and put on probation. Over the course of a school year, he and other students awaken to a special power, becoming a group of secret vigilantes known as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. They explore the metaverse, a supernatural realm born from humanity's subconscious desires, to steal malevolent intent from the hearts of adults. 
you can battle enemies known as shadows using physical manifestations of your character psyche known as their personas. The game is governed by a day-night cycle and weather system that determine general behavior similar to a social simulation game. Up next, Attack on Titan 2, an action hack-and-slash video game based on Hajime Isayama's manga series of the same name. The game covers the plot of the first 50 chapters of Attack on Titan that is also covered by the first two seasons of the anime adaptation. The game allows the players to create an original character and interact with the characters of the manga. There is another DLC known as Final Battle that covers chapters 51 to 90 of the manga, same as the third season of the anime. The game features cel-shaded graphics and features the player defeating the titans in large, open areas. The game lets you try your hand in operating the omnidirectional mobility gear, maneuvering and flying through the sky to counter the titans, and feel the thrill and satisfaction of battling giant opponents. I am personally looking forward to the last upcoming season of this series. Next, Fairy Tale. This is an action RPG game that is based on the same named anime. The aim of the game is to restore your guild to its former glory. Initially, you take control of fairy tale guild members as your playable characters that encompass you to complete requests, strengthen friendships, and upgrade the guild's facilities to increase your guild rank, as the guild's goal is to fight and prevail to become the number one guild in the Kingdom of Fjord. The game has a turn-based combat system that uses four main commands, magic, attack, defend, and item, that can be used in battle. The game also features seven elements to the magic and are separated to different attributes so that one is weak, resistant, immune, or can be drained to the other. There are also other support functions on the battle, such as the rescues, which automatically activates when the player is in trouble. One of my old time favorites. Up next, Danganronpa. It's a video game franchise series that surrounds a group of high school students who are forced into murdering each other by a bear named Monokuma. Gameplay in the main Danganronpa games is split into six chapters, which each have three sections called Daily Life, Deadly Life, and Class Trial. Daily Life follows a standard visual novel style as players explore the school grounds, converse with characters, and progress the story. During designated free time sections, players can interact with a character of their choice, learning more about them and earning new skills that can help them in the class trial. Deadly Life is the post-murder investigation part of the story, in which players search for clues and gather evidence for the class trial. The class trial is the main section of the series in which the students attempt to determine the culprit, which involves various types of minigames. Coming in next, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition. This is a role-playing video game based on the Digimon franchise. In-game, players control a human character with the ability to command Digimon, digital creatures with their own unique abilities who do battle against other Digimon. Players can choose between either Palmon, Terriermon, or Hagurumon as their starting partner at the beginning of the game, with more able to be obtained as they make their way into new areas. The game features a total of 249 unique Digimon, including seven that were available as DLC throughout the life of the game, and two which were exclusive to the Western release. The title features a new game plus mode where players retain all of their Digimon, non-key items, money, memory, sleuth link, scan percentages, and Digifarm progress. If you are an old-time Digimon fan, it's definitely going to be a great ride of memories. Last on our list, but not least, Steins Gate. It's a science fiction visual novel game that follows a group of students as they discover and develop technology that gives them the means to change the past. The gameplay in Steins Gate includes branching scenarios with courses of interaction. The core gameplay requires little interaction from the player as most of the duration of the game is spent reading the text that appears on the screen which represents either the dialogue between the various characters or the thoughts of the protagonist. Like many other visual novels, there are specific points in Steins Gate where the user is given a choice to affect the direction of the game. Depending on the player's choices of how to respond to these situations, the plot progresses in a specific direction. 
the anime overall can be a bit dark for some, but for fans of this series, it's really intense and worth experiencing. And with this, we wrap up our list of best anime-based video games. If you liked the video, consider subscribing to our channel to check out more cool content in the future. Thanks again for watching, and goodbye guys.